There's been no rest for Aram Chagala, an emergency department nurse in Toronto, not even for the death of her father from COVID-19. Only the same recurring questions. When is this going to end? When is this going to stop? When are we going to return to our normal pre-COVID days? Many of her colleagues have had it. They've either transferred or quit. So I don't think that this is a surprise anymore. There's going to be a lot of burnout, exhaustion and heavy turnover. After a decade on the front lines, this nurse quit. We're protecting her identity. Speaking out may affect her employment. It just broke my heart and it was the inhumane conditions that we left patients in. At the height of the third wave, she says her hospital struggled to fill staff shortages and the quality of care suffered. There weren't enough people to do the CPR and inf give the medications needed to revive people and it, it was very scary. It was very scary. What are scary. the consequences of that? Death. Even before the pandemic, a national survey found 60% of nurses plan to leave their jobs within a year due to poor working conditions and exhaustion. During the pandemic, how many left is still unknown, but the front lines are suffering. Even when we have patients who are, uh, who are unvaccinated, who are in disbelief about the fact that they have COVID, it's the nurses that take the brunt of that, the verbal and, and sometimes physical abuse that comes from that frustration from the patient. Some continue to face those conditions. I usually tell myself one day at a time because that's all we can do at this point. But, I mean, <laughs> I can't do it, you know, when it comes down to it. Even if she's replaced, it means less experience on the front lines when it matters most. Vicadopia, CBC News, Toronto.